Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and in this session we will talk about the Hype Launcher Fabric and specifically we will talk about the state database and we will explain about this concept and we will talk about also the type of state database which we have in Hype Launcher Fabric. So in case we haven't gone through my previous videos, I would recommend you to go through the previous uh, videos for Hype Launcher Fabric where we have talked about the high pleasure fabric network setup files uh, what all files are involved and then we have talked about the chain code what is chain code and what is the chain code stub interface uh, and what all functions are involved in that so before we go to the chain code uh, functions and how we can implement a chain code so in this uh, video we will talk about the state database which is very important concept in Hyperledger Fabric and which you might not see in other blockchain uh, net, uh, frameworks basically which you see maybe the Ethereum, Coda and other ones. So let's go forward and let's talk about what is state database. So if you have any past experience on the Ethereum uh, and if you have gone through our previous videos which, where we have talked about the Ethereum, how to do a development in the Ethereum and how the information is being stored. So uh, you might have seen that we directly access the information from a blockchain. So we store the information in a blockchain in form of blocks as we already aware and in each block you can have multiple transactions stored based upon your blockchain. Maybe Bitcoin have their own transaction sizes, transaction uh, volume, Ethereum has its so own but this is the basic architecture is same so blockchain is uh, storing the transaction detail in the blocks so whenever we try to access any information so we just go to the blockchain network and we access that information and that is a major challenge which we face with the Ethereum and uh, the Bitcoin blockchain with that is the reason this is not scalable and that is a major challenge which we are facing with ethereum which is scalability and throughput the performance wise is not so good uh, as of today and uh, so this is where hyperledger fabric uh, addresses that issues although uh, the usage of ethereum is uh, totally uh, separate and hyperledger is mainly for uh, permissioned and private blockchains and Ethereum is for open which is public blockchains but uh, we have to understand this concept here which is star database which makes the hyperledger fabric more scalable and it increase the performance of hyperledger fabric so let's discuss about this one uh, so to explain about this one uh, we have taken one example uh, so uh, let's go through this example which we have mentioned in this blog so uh, suppose mark we have one person who purchased a new car from a company and uh, there is uh, and we are assuming the car id is 1234 so every car will have their own unique id so what we do whenever mark purchase a car we store the information in a blockchain saying that okay the key is uh, in a key value pair like key is equivalent to your car id which is 1234 and the value is mark the car owner so we are storing this value in a blockchain network in key value pair so core key is car id and the value is the car owner so in the very first point mark is our car owner and the car id is one two three four so later few months later uh, mark wants to sell this car he so he sells this to car to john now the ownership got changed so owner is now john instead of mark right but the car id will remain same so now the blockchain record will get updated now the ownership will be changed to john instead of mark so your key is 1234 and the value got changed as john so this will get appended in the blockchain this will not going to uh, delete the old record which we were having this will store the old record as well as it will have a new record then few months later again john wants to sell and he sell to the bob so again the ownership got changed same way the key remains same one two three four but the owner got changed bob so now in case so this is uh, can keep on happening after every few months right so the owner can keep on changing so what will happen okay uh, when when someone wants to query who's the current owner of this car 
when someone wants to query that person that process or that query has to go to a blockchain all the blocks and then come to know that okay who the current owner so that process is uh, time consuming and that will not be highly uh, efficient process okay because we have to go through the whole blockchain to get the detail so what will happen if we store the latest key value pair in some other places maybe in a cache you might have heard about caching concept in other tool and technologies where we don't go to the actual system to get the information but we store a specific information which is being used very frequently in a caching right so what we can do here we can store that latest key value pair in a separate storage so whenever we get any query that who is the latest owner of this car so we can just go to that storage instead of to the blockchain the full blockchain and that will make our process more efficient right so that storage which we're talking about here is a state database so in hyperledger fabric you store the latest key and value pair in a state database so that for to query the information you need not to go to the full uh, full blockchain basically that is at very very basic level that will make you the things very clear so if you can just see this picture you have a ledger which is kind of blockchain which has multiple transaction which is a uh, combination of each block and one block can have two transaction one can have three other can have four and so on so what we are storing the latest transaction detail latest key value pair we are storing in the state database okay key is 1 2 3 4 and the value is bob so in case someone comes to get the information we just go to the state database and pass the information okay so this is what the state database means in a hyperledger fabric and that is very uh, uh major uh, or i will say important concept in the hyperledger fabric which you need to understand now you can see here there are two type of uh, state databases which we have mentioned level db and couch db right so before we go, go to that one so benefit we already mentioned about that one so this is more efficient this will increase the throughput time and that is all major uh, major benefits which we'll get with this feature now uh, uh, as we just mentioned talking about in the last uh, video about chain code stub interfaces so in case you want to interact with this uh, state database you have different functions basically so at high level if you see there are three main function get state put state and delete state so get state will get the value from state database right which is being committed so we, you may have some kind of scenario that you are storing the information to a database but which is not being validated and uh, verified or validated right so you always have to remember this get state function will get only that value which is being validated and committed to your ledger not the one which is currently in flight okay so that is the very first function which we have then put state it will it is going to uh, store the values uh, to uh, key value pair and based on that it will have two two arguments key and both the values delete state uh, will help you to delete the specific key from right side only not from a ledger always remember this is not deleting the any value from a ledger or from blockchain this is only deleting from the state database so state database uh, is you can uh, replace at any moment any time okay this is not something uh, will stop you to replace or rearrange or take the value from blockchain at any moment okay so then there are two type of databases which we have for state which is level db and couch db so level db is a very basic key value storage library with which to the key and value pair the only challenge which we have with the very first database is that this will help us to get the indexes on key but this will not help you to have indexes on the values so that is a major challenge which we have with the very first level dot dot db so uh, we generally prefer to have couch db only 
but uh, as per requirement you can just go with level or couch tb but generally couch tb is used so couch tb is a do document oriented storage okay that support the rich queries so rich queries uh, is supported in case of couch tb not in level, level db and couch tb also support json so in case you have a values which support which in the json format that can be support that can be uh, stored in a couch tb okay and the another feature is the couch tb is that it support the indexing on both key and value instead of just only on key which is case of level db so there are many many there are many features uh, which you have in couch tb that is make it more popular as compared to level db but there are some drawbacks also which we'll not discuss in this session and that we'll discuss for some other session later on but uh, this is this will make you aware about the high level that okay this is the two databases which we have uh, in the high level fabric which we use and and the chain code whenever you write the chain code which we'll talk about in the next video so you will have a separate function to access the uh, uh, for each db you will have a separate set of function for couch db separate for level db so same function you may not be able to use for both so this is how it is being written and this is how you have to use going forward so this is what all uh, this is all we have in this video uh, we have uh, talk about the basically at high level uh, about the state database why this is being used with one example then what all functions you have in that uh, to access the state database then the type of databases which we have i'm hopeful that you like this video and this is helpful for you to understand the basic concept and we are not going the detail in this video but at we just cover at very high level for you thanks for watching